Good day everyone, today we're going to present our basic action research proposal entitled Conducting Online Turo, an Intervention Program for Modular Distance Learning in Science for Selected Basics Learners of Maliksi Elementary School for the school year 2020-2021. I am Dora Rose M. Madrona, the researcher proponent, and with me is Jen S. Velasquez, my researcher co-proponent. Typical learning usually happens inside the classroom setting and having a face-to-face -face interaction with their teacher. But when COVID-19 pandemic comes in, what can teachers do as not to compromise learning? Maliksi Elementary School offered modular distance learning as a new normal learning delivery mode for the school year 2020-2021 based on the survey conducted. But when days, weeks, and months passed by, a lot of problems encountered. One of those was the comprehension of learners towards the lessons or concepts, which resulted to low performance of their answered activity and summative test. To address these problems, online Turo is one of the options as basis for intervention program since some of the learners have internet at home and available gadgets to use during the online tutor. According to Gotham 2020, online learning is now applicable not just to learn academics, but it is also extends to learning extracurricular activities for learners as well. In recent months, the demand for online learning has risen significantly and it will continue doing so in the future. In response to the current situation, this model helps learning to continue beyond the four walls of the classroom, allows learners' choice and flexibility to learn at their pace, creates more opportunities for collaborative tasks along with providing opportunities to rethink the mode of assessment and feedback. Virtual education has opened up possibilities of rethinking the way we are doing teaching and learning. The use of educational technology tools can begin to transform the classroom, and most of it depends on the creative agency of the teacher by Kartnick 2020. Another one, they believe that the value of the face-to-face -face instruction methods cannot be reduced, but online learning can be used together with the traditional methods to bring the efficiency, effectiveness, and competitive edge over other competitors by imparting quality education by Barboni 2019. This study aims to determine the effect of conducting online Turo intervention program for modular distance learning in science for selected grade 6 learners of Maliksi Elementary School for the school year 2020-2021. Specifically, it will answer the following questions. 1. What is the pretest and post-test course of the control group and experimental group? 2. Is there significant difference on the pretest results of the control group and experimental group? 3. Is there significant difference on the post-test results of the control group and experimental group? And 4. Is there significant difference between the pretest and post-test of the control group and experimental group? The respondents of this study are composed of five sections with a total number of 219 grade 6 learners. And these are divided into two groups, the control group, which consists of 163 learners, and the experimental group, which consists of 56 learners. The sampling procedure will be used in this study is purposive sampling, which consists of 219 grade 6 learners. 
the control group that consists of 163 learners are learners who haven't received any intervention from the teacher while the experimental group that consists of 56 learners these are learners that have gadgets and internet at home and these are learners who are attending the online tour for the data collection pre-post control group experimental research design using the pre-test and post-test results Daily monitoring of attendance during the online tour. Checking of attendance is used to monitor the attendees during the online tour. Matrix for intervention program. Scheduled program for online tour is provided for each section for familiarity of their time. Pre-test and post-test will be given and collected during and after the intervention has implemented. For the ethical issues, to make this action research possible and formal, letter to the school head was seek. Parental consent has given to the parents to protect the rights to anonymity and confidentiality of every respondent. Participation and cooperation from the parents are very important in this study, asking them to let their child or children to voluntarily join during the online tour is a big help because it will lessen their worries in teaching their children. Validated Test Questionnaire Test questionnaire for pre-test and post-test were constructed based on the milk for fourth quarter lesson. This questionnaire was validated by the experts, namely Mrs. Chen S. Velasquez for the grammar and Mrs. Helen A. Gutierrez, the EPS in science, for the content. The following is statistical tool used in the interpretation of the results. Scores were used to determine the performance of respondents in the pre-test and post-test of the most essential learning competencies in the fourth quarter lessons in grade 6 science. Exposure to intervention online tour was implemented. Results and discussion. With the table presented, the performance of the control group and experimental group after studying the competencies in science for fourth quarter showed an increase of the mastery of the essential skills among the basic learners in the modular distance learning modality after the use of online tour. Before the implementation of the online tour, the pre-test results of the controlled group and experimental group showed similarity of performance as supported by the computed t-test values among five sections which were all lesser than the critical values. Meanwhile, a significant difference was obtained after the implementation of online tour between control group and experimental group. This means that the performance of the two groups significantly differs among the intervention. Moreover, the performance of the experimental group was higher compared to the control group. However, the performance of the control group was not significantly different after the delivery of instruction using modular learning. This implies that the learners who were solely learned using modular distance learning did not perform with the basic requirements of mastering the essential competencies. In contrary, performance of the experimental group after the online tour showed significantly difference in their performance. This means that through online tour, learners were able to master the essential competencies in basic science through the guidance of the teacher. These significant findings illustrate that with the presence of the teacher and direct instruction coming to the teacher, learners were able to acquire the skills intended. The research paper recommends that teachers in Maliksi Elementary School can use online tour as an intervention program to help learners master the learning competencies. Thank you.